honey corn buns. It's the end of the day. It's time to hot tell it on home, honey. There ain't no ifs, ands, and buts about it. It's time to be a part of the get along gang for real. So, how was your day? How did work go for you guys? Are you on your way into work? You're on your way out of work? I'm going home. Get snug bug in a rug, take a shower, eat, get snug bug in a rug, and go to bed. I'm not going to joke with you. I just, like, uh, I already said, you know, certain times of, for uh, women, females, you just drained. You just drained. It's, it's just like, uh, unfortunately, that's, you know, that time for every month. But that, I understand it's TMI for a lot of people. Oh, no, you didn't, BMW. Oh, I'm sorry, my bad. Wrong car. Mercedes. Miss Mercedes. Mercedes. That's from, you know, um, Pebbles. Um, song. But, um, like I said, there are plenty of, you know, streams, uh, apps, streaming apps that you can go and uh, see about the song, um, the artist Pebble and bought her song Mercedes, but uh, yeah, they came flying down that ramp out this to leave out this garage. They want to go home worse than I do, I guess. Hell, they said they got things to do. I'm not even mad at them. You know, understand they they keeping it moving. People out jogging and stuff. I guess you know it is what it is. Me, myself, like I said, I am going home. I'm gladly to go home. I have no problems with taking myself home. No hesitation to go home. Is is the light on green or red for them? They just all came to a stop abruptly. So, I just want to want to get home. It's, it's nice out. The wind is blowing, you know, for the past couple of days on and off. I have been walking like on my lunch. Like, I ate my lunch, uh, and when I finished, I still had some time left for my lunch, so I went for a walk. I walked about maybe three blocks, turned around, and came on back. You know, that was enough time to kill my lunch. And, uh... About it. That's it. Three. When did I walk? One, two. I might have walked up three blocks. And uh, one block over. And then I turned around and came back. So other than that, I hope everyone is having a pleasant day. Y'all getting home safely. You know, no hassle, fuss, trust, no, no must. No, no, no people super trying to do meet and greets and everything. Just everybody just go on about their business. They be all right. So yes, yes, yes. I just want to high tell it on home, honey. I mean, high tell it on home. That's that's what I want to do. Lord willing to say so, I'm gonna be willing and I'm gonna be alright to do so and I'm gonna be good to go. And the freeways are right now is so so, but it's you know on certain areas it's still that little congestion, you know. So we're gonna work with it. We're gonna make it do what it do. We're gonna make it work. That's what's going to happen. So, and when I get home, uh, like I said, I'll make some more phone calls and uh, check on some more family members, see how they're doing, how their day is going, and work from there. Have you guys been checking up on your loved ones? See how they're doing? Make sure everybody's all right. Like, uh, Okay, uh, the other day, I came across the uh, Chinese plum. Well, I ate them this morning for breakfast with uh, my quinoa 
chips and some water. And I, uh, when I posted a picture, I had two of my cousins ask me, what is that? What is that? And I told them, you know, apparently the technical name for it is Laquat or Laquat. I could be pronouncing it incorrectly, but it's L-O-Q-U-A-T. So, you know, it has good vitamin A and C in it, is from what I read. Good source of vitamin A and C. So, um, I was like, okay now. But I did remember something else when I ate them this morning. Ooh, they were sour. And I remembered, I said, wait a minute. I said, no. I said, we didn't, we ate some of them that were this color of yellow. I said, but I do remember they were orange. When they were orange, they were sweet. The orange, so when they, you know, turn that orange color, they are so sweet. So, but it also says that it's a Japanese pun. You know, just so, um, I don't know if it's the one that I have was more of a Japanese pun than the Chinese pun. Um, uh, but, you know, the quack. I, I believe I'm saying it correctly. I'm not too sure. By the way, when I go home, I am getting in my, my bed, my bed, my bed, my bed. You know, there will be no meetings in my bedroom. There will be no silk action. No, you know, there will be no Jay Holidays. And, you know, no, no. You know, like, well, ain't nobody put me to bed, nothing. I put my own self to bed and go to sleep. Crash out. Knock out city. Let it go night night. <laughs> Let me stop. But yes, that that is what I'm gonna be doing when I get home. Just uh, I just feel like you know drained. But other than that, I'm also gonna try to finish if I can. Well, you know what? I, I don't even know. Because lately, the back of my eyes have been watching me. And I haven't been watching a darn thing. Not a kind of thing. Okay? So, let me not say that. Let me not say that. Let me just see how, how it goes. But, um... Ooh, I had to go, like, oh. I also went to go have my, uh, my lab work done. Hurts though, so I, I think she might have bruised my arm like uh, with a needle. She might have popped my blood vessel. I won't know until like later on tonight or in the morning. Cause right now my arm is stiff. I wouldn't have uh, my blood work. I told you that uh, the doctor wanted me to go and have a uh, CT done for this lump that's right here. Uh, there's a uh, the stone that's blocking my saliva gland. And I guess he'll have better imagery with the uh, CT than it was for the uh, ultrasound that I had done. So, um, and then from there, they said they would try to tell me exactly what my options are, like what I can do. So, uh, hopefully, if they can tell me what to do. Yes. This is irritating. Even for me to touch it, it's like a, a weird feeling, but almost um, like a, like if you licked on salt or something sour every time I touch it, and it's like usually the mouth waters up like it's that weird tingling you know sensation um, when I touch it that's like if I want to be able to do that I'm sorry for doing that to you guys on the, on the video I'm just saying that that's what it makes me want to do is like you know I don't know lick my tongue out or just 
have my tongue licked against uh, the side of my, my uh, inside of my mouth because most of the time my mouth is uh, dry. And so, like I said, hopefully this helps whatever it is that he's looking at. And, you know, maybe they can do something to help relieve that. Or, I know you mentioned something, like in, when I was in the office talking about the gland removal, you know. Uh, I don't know what that would entail if they remove my gland, like what would they do for me, you know, producing saliva in my mouth because the gland over here is fine, but it's just this one that's clogged with a stone. trailer uh, on the back of it that has uh, tools and stuff on it, right? And then I'm right behind him. He's just going to like come off behind me and then just start riding the shoulder on the side. And wonder wasn't why nobody was letting him in. So he kept on driving. So the white truck that was in front of me and myself, once we clear the, uh, the one lane that goes up until it gets to a main uh, uh until it gets to the main street and then it breaks back off into two no i'm sorry three lanes right so me and the white truck once it opens back up we get into the middle lane right and then i proceed to go into the far left lane well the nutball in the in the green ford truck speeds off like if somebody's chasing them or racing them 
Ain't nobody chasing and racing you. Ain't nobody have time for you at all. So then, um, like I said, nobody's like whatever. So he speeds off like crazy. Then comes to a light. So he has to slow down and then he like all of a sudden jumps all the way over to the left lane. I said, I don't even know what's up with this dude. Like seriously, what is his problem? You know, looking like it's not that serious. Everybody trying to go home, you're gonna get home just fine with no problems. You know, hopefully no problems. I'm looking like damn. You know, and then he turns at like I guess maybe he was speeding so damn fast, he didn't realize that was the street he needed to turn on. So after the light turns green and everybody's going, I guess whoever was in the truck with him let him know that's where he's supposed to turn. And he makes this sharp left turn. I was like, dude, your ass is just on one. Okay? And then um, I get further down. I'm not think far down from the house. And then a little black car wants to cut all, all the way from the left lane all the way to the right to turn. I said, what the fuck is going on? real man I'm, I'm just telling y'all get home safely be safe take all precautions and measures that you have to to make sure you get home safely you know don't other folks that's driving like ghost speed racers bad out of hell whatever it is that they feel you're somebody's chasing them down the street for or you know I, I have no idea what rat race they in but don't be a part of that circus okay just just don't mm -mm. then there you know oh I, I just don't know i don't know maybe they were trying to hurry up and get home so they quarantine themselves i don't <laughs> i don't really know i know it's not funny because you know a lot of people some people are you know being affected by this because uh i finally watched finished watching the uh red table talk on my phone and um they spoke to a young lady that was 25 years old um, who said that she contracted it from her friend that came from London. It was her and her uh, six, I think five or six or other friends who also contracted it. Um, you know, at first they said they were joking around to my, yeah, they think they got it until their symptoms actually really did get worse. But they, um, they end up contracting it from their friend that came from, um, London and ooh, the people on the farmers market they are closing up shop early honey they closing up shop early they're not trying to be out there ain't trying to stay out there they say they got things to do and I'm not mad at them you know because a lot of people are just you know staying home which is a good thing and then you have some people just out and about like they said the only thing you can do is go pick up your food now the grocery stores are not closed it's the bars, it's the clubs, and it's the restaurants. But you can do drive through all day long. You can order and have it delivered all day long. You can go pick it up all day long, okay? You can do that. We're not on shutdown. We're not to where they're confined to where they only have to be at home. We're not at that stage yet. So um, for us, like they said, you can still go on about your business and do the things that you need to do and what you have to do. If you have to go to work, you got to go to work. You know, but they say if you don't really have to and your job is letting you work from home, if you can, you know, uh, via satellite home of doing, you know, your job or occupation that you do, then go ahead and you opt to do that. You know, if you really don't have to be out there is what they're saying. So, I'm not mad at them. Uh, unfortunately, my job is not a via satellite job. It is not going to happen. I would actually have to be at work. No ifs, ands, and buts about it. Got to be there. You know, be uh, like, a, what is it, uh, the Jackson song. When Michael said, be there in the morning. Yeah, I got to be there in the morning, okay? That's just how it goes. I see they're out cutting the grass and stuff today and, you know, tending to the, the I guess, the landscape. So, can't be mad at that, hon. Can't be mad at it at all. So.
Oh, they put down new sides. Okay, nothing wrong with that. But I would think that you would cut the grass first before you put the new side down. I don't know. I don't do landscaping, so I'm, you know, hey, don't mind me. I, I just, it just caught my eye. The new side is like black, and the other side was like brown. The mulch in the side that they put down before was brown. Now the mulch in the side that they put down now is black. So it's very noticeable. It pops out at you, especially with the lush green grass that's grown all up that's tall. So I was like, I would think that you would actually mow the grass first. You know, cut and detail the grass, the weeds, you know, all that type of stuff. Um, and the sidewalk, do all that type of stuff first before you actually put the sod and the mulch down where the flowers and the trees and stuff are because I'm sure when you go to go mow the grass you're going to have all that stuff <laughs> flying the hell up but hey, it is what it is what, hey, they, they like it, I love it right? let's put it that way they like it, I love it on this house, like I said, I'm tired look at my eyes, look at my eyes do they look open to you? They look tired, don't they? Yes, we tired. We're going in now. Okay. All right, Huns. Well, then again, it could be because I took two Zyrtex at work. You know, I had to, my uh, my allergies were starting to mess with me. My nose was running, and I was like, uh -uh, I'm gonna pop these these pills. I'm I did two Zyrtex. Sure did. Had to. So that could be why they're a little bit tired and things. Cause Zyrtex, you know, like two Tylenol PMs will knock you straight on your ass you 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 knocked out sleep at least for me because i don't do you know a whole bunch of medicine and stuff but uh i'm just telling you sometimes it will knock you out and benadryl ain't nothing to play with them and robitussin and knock you on your ass i'm just saying so i'm going to the house all right talk to y'all later bye